you are not the yes big brother you are hereby disqualified from the big brother house okay report to the dining room immediately I don't know if you're all aware, but Yolanda has just been disqualified from Big Brother's house. Yeah. Am I surprised? I'm kind of surprised. Not at the punishment, not at the disqualification, no, but at the fact that production actually took it serious and went ahead to do the right thing. <laughs> oh my God. I have a lot to say about that. But first, let's speak about Yolanda's offense. So I did a video this morning giving you all the details about what had actually transpired between Yolanda and Papa Ghost last night, yes. Um, if you missed out on that video, please go ahead and watch it. I don't want to waste your time going through all the details all over again, all right? But I did a video about it, just go ahead and watch it, okay? So Yolanda had made a declaration to Mpumi. She had said, I want to fucking molest him. And she was actually referring to Papa Ghost. Ladies and gentlemen, that statement she made was quite similar to what Bravo B had said. And on the video I put out this morning, I explained to you all how Yolanda's fans automatically became librarians you know how they all became professors everybody was doing research everybody was going on to um, google everybody was consulting their dictionary to check other meanings of the word molest and all of them were coming out and saying no she didn't mention a name they literally left the the bone of contention in that statement to oh she didn't mention a name when they knew fully well that she was actually referring to papa ghost and mind you, production had had to silence her mic <laughs> because she was really loud. Typical of Yolanda's nature. So she had said what she had said. And I had done my video this morning. I'd also put out a tweet on the X app. And my take was that two things about this season, aside production's bias, production's favoritism exclusively, to Liama, of course. There's also the part where most viewers that are heavily standing a particular housemate would deliberately turn a blind eye to everything they deem morally inappropriate as done by their favorite housemate because they love that person, because they're standing that person. But the moment it is another housemate that does what they do not like, they will vehemently, vehemently drag that housemate and call for that housemate to be put on the chopping block. And that was exactly what happened to Bravo B. Yes, that was exactly what happened to Bravo B. Anyways, I put out my take on the video I did this morning, put out my take as well on Twitter, and I stated, now listen, <laughs> If production wants to be fair, I mean, if the season had been fair from the very get-go, the right thing to, to be done is to disqualify Yolanda in the same process that Bravo B had been disqualified from the show in week one. Now, that was just my take. And frankly speaking, I did not think production would do anything. I did not. Because ladies and gentlemen, it was quite shocking that a but, like, guys, a portion of the viewing audience went silent. They were not really making noise. They were not really talking about it. Why? Yolanda is a favorite housemate to a lot of people. They don't want her to leave. Why? Well, she's very entertaining. She's one of the strongest contenders of the season. But, guys, I saw a lot of hypocrisy in that. Because... People were not using the same energy they used to call for Bravo B's disqualification to call for Yolanda's disqualification. Instead, they were making a lot of ridiculous excuses. And guys, I cringed. I cringed. Because 
the one thing I put on my tweet was, if it was Papa Ghost that made that declaration, that said, I want to fucking molest Yolanda. Come on. People are not only going to call for Papa Ghost's head, by the time he comes out of the house, because this guy already has a reputation as, you know, imposed on him by his fellow housemates and people outside the house, you know, that he's an abuser, he's this, he's that, he's blah, blah, blah. People already dislike the guy. They will wait for him outside Big Brother's house. And the moment he steps feet outside Big Brother's house, they're going to crucify that young man. And guess what? It's not going to stop at just Papa Ghost. It's going to extend to his brother, Andy Lenkube, his sister, because already they're dragging those ones on Twitter. It's going to spread like wildfire. And so, I said my piece, shared my thoughts as well, and the X app, you know, with all the hope sort of lost that anything tangible was going to come out of it. Because ladies and gentlemen, we know that this is not the first time um, a housemate would do something similar and then get away with it. But just when I thought that all hope was lost, Big Brother summoned Yolanda to the diary room um, this afternoon and addressed what she had said the same way he had actually addressed bravo b and my care that was the same way he had called yolanda into the diary room you know and refreshed her memory about what had happened last night and guys frankly speaking i have a very strong feeling that yolanda lied that she did not remember because she claimed she remembered her conversation with z but she did not remember what she had said to papa ghost because i mean guys i found it really hard to believe I did say that. Now, oh, cause I don't, yo. Oh my gosh, I I honestly didn't mean it, yo. I don't even remember saying it like that, yo. Because she had actually had that encounter with Papa Ghost, had said what she said to Pumi with clear eyes, and then a few minutes later, when it was lights out, she had gone ahead to kiss Z. I mean come on come on in that regard i just felt like yolanda was just pretending to not remember because she was like ah that she did not remember ah i can't even remember i'm like yolanda caught it <laughs> you've been caught you can't claim that you do not remember yeah you can't claim to be under the influence of alcohol and ladies and gentlemen speaking about being under the influence of alcohol we know that yolanda abuses alcohol a lot in that house Let's call a spade a spade. I know that a lot of you are Yolanda's fans. You are boiling up right now. You want to eat me raw. Well, sorry, but I'm not sorry. The truth has to be said. Yolanda has been abusing alcohol a lot. And whenever she takes a lot of alcohol, but as she's drunk or tipsy or whatever, she always uses that alcoholic state as a crutch to become louder and to say the most vulgar things that she wants to say. And this is not the first time. I think it was in the first week. Yes, it was in the first week before Bravo B was disqualified, where Yolanda was having a conversation with Else, describing the male organs of most of the male housemates, which she had obviously seen during their shower moments. But then, as at that time, that issue was not addressed by Big Brother. And so it felt like karma waited this long for Yolanda just when she was getting very close to the price money. The prize money was just right there, two weeks away from Yolanda. And then just because she's not being called out for most of the vulgar things that she's been saying about the male housemates, she decided to do it again last night and then even lied or claimed that she could not remember what she said. And then Big Brother, you know, read the you know educational rules and whatnot whatnot the same way he actually addressed bravo b and makeke's own case and told her to go and reflect and she went and you know was reflecting and you know what's even funny by the time she left the diary room papa ghost had been genuinely concerned and even told her not to repeat what she had said because i think he heard it but he didn't make a big deal out of it you know, so he had even gone ahead to console her, you know, told her not to worry too much about it. Just tried to encourage her to be calm. Um, I have to check my drinks. Yo. Don't, don't lose because of something stupid, Yolanda. <sighs> and I'm actually mentioning this for the benefit of those people that feel like Papa Ghost just genuinely wants to kick this girl out of the house. Ladies and gentlemen, he was the one person that first 
gave her a shoulder to lean on, hugged her, gave her a pat on the back and told her, just calm down and let's wait for Big Brother's verdict. But then, <laughs> sadly, but not sadly, but fairly, Big Brother meted out his judgment. By using language that speaks to acts of sexual violence, Big Brother feels that you have violated some of the house rules. And that was how Yolanda got disqualified. Yeah, it has happened. It's really sad. But frankly speaking, that was the fair thing to do. That was the necessary action that needed to be taken. Frankly speaking, there's no two ways about it. Guys, I know that Yolanda is your fave. That is if she's your fave, but you need to face the reality. That was a very, very derogatory, disrespectful, and vulgar statement that she made. That was like predatory towards the male housemate, towards Papa Ghost. And as I said before, if Papa Ghost had said that, the whole internet would be burning by now. Yeah. Now, for production, I so badly want to give production a pat on the back. I so, I so badly want to give them accolades. I want to celebrate them. But the question is, do they really deserve it? Frankly speaking, in a way, they don't. Yeah, and you know why. You all know why. I'm going to summarize my take on that with this. The rule book cannot only apply to all the housemates with the exclusion of just one housemate. If production really wants to be fair, Liema should have been disqualified since week two. Yeah, she should have been disqualified. Because in week one, they spoke about attempted rape or violence in week two liema actually perpetrated the act and even threatened to do more what do we call that i'm going to stop talking here right now because i would love to hear from all of you let me know in the comment section how you really feel about um yolanda's disqualification i know that a lot of you are hurt but i've told you all my own perspective on it that was that was that's how it should be yeah, that's how we should be. So go ahead, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. We'll have more conversations about this tomorrow. 3 p.m. WAT during our live conversation. Do not miss out. There's a lot to talk about. All of that said, have an amazing evening. Bye.